Hey guys, Nikki here with Rusty Rose Pickens. Today we're going to be working on some chairs that I picked up from a customer. They are solid oak and they're quite beautiful, but she wants them redone completely. So we're going to strip off the existing finish, restain, seal, and reupholster these chairs. We're going to try something today because I uh, really don't want to strip these the traditional way, which is sanding and stripping. It's time extensive. It takes about an hour a chair and that adds up pretty quick and chairs are my least favorite project to do. So I went and picked up a little soda blaster from Princess Auto and I'm pretty excited to try it out. Uh, it, it was $30 for the unit, very simple unit, uh, but it should do the job. So yeah, we'll try it out. I'm pretty excited and we'll see how it goes. Simple logic, you put the media in there, it siphons out and the power from the compressor pushes it out. It makes a bit of a mess, but you can actually sweep it up, run it through a filter and put it back in. Reuse it a few times, it's pretty great. So here we have our finished product after the soda blasting. It did such a great job, it took it right down to the wood. I don't have to go over it with any sandpaper, I can just carry on with the staining process. Uh, I must say I'm very impressed with that tool. I would definitely recommend it. It does a great job and it was very simple to set up, very simple to use and very inexpensive to run. A 50 pound bag of that soda lasts probably for about 12 chairs and was only about 60 bucks. So definitely a bargain. So today for finishing these chairs, we're gonna be using the Fusion Mineral Paint Stain and Finish Oil. I like this product because it also conditions it while it stains it, which is very good for the wood before you go and put a clear coat or a lacquer on top of it. So that's what we'll be using today. So this is the existing fabric that we're going to be replacing. I'll show you step by step how we go about doing that. Uh, the first step is going to be taking the existing fabric off and then we're going to be replacing it with this new pattern here which is quite lovely with the blue and we're going to get started on that and show you how we do it. So what I've done is I've stripped the old fabric off of there. There was a bunch of staples on it, pulled those all out, took the fabric off. I didn't bother showing you that because it's very boring. <laughs> And I didn't think you'd want to watch that. So here's the foam that we're going to be adding the fabric onto and I will show you now the steps involved. So what I've done here is I've pre-cut and measured the fabric to the chair cushion itself. So what I do is I always leave about two or three inches around each side so there's enough room to fold it over and you're not stuck for space. So I line it up. And then I'm going to flip it over so that it's that way. Now the first step I'm going to do is fold over on one side, give it a staple. And then I go a little further. Always making sure you pull it tight as you go. I'm going to go all the way around doing the same process. Okay, so now that we've gone around and secured all the edges, the corners are the next step. So I always pull it in as tight as I can, creating one crease. Staple it on the crease. And I go to the other side, as close to the corner as I can again, going tight. Just 
triangular looking piece here, which I then just pull tight. One more staple on this side, one more on this side. And there you have your corner. So I'm going to go around and do the rest of them exactly the same. tight and secure and the fabric's not loose on it. I've done some extra stapling just to enforce it. Now when I took it apart there was this piece that goes on the bottom and what it does is it just goes over top of the bottom and it keeps all those little flyaway pieces of fabric and things in so when you put it on the chair it doesn't come out underneath it eventually and it just kind of keeps it all protected. It's just an extra layer. It keeps it nice and neat. Here you have our finished product after all that work. We have these beautiful chairs with now a cappuccino finish, brand new fabric. They're completely updated and are gonna make such a difference in her dining room. Um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. The wood grain that came through that you couldn't really see before with the honey oak finish really stands out now with this dark stain. So I'm quite happy. So there you have it. Thanks for watching today. If you like what you saw, please like and subscribe, share away. That's how that works. Uh, I'm new to this, but I'm going to be pumping out lots more videos of all the stuff I'm doing, some picking adventures, and I really appreciate you watching. Have a good day, bye.